Hi there, signs of Sagittarius. This is Kim here to do your reading, guys. Hope you all are doing good today. Thanks for joining me. I do have private readings still available. They're always available, pretty much, until I stop doing this. And if you want one, you can get it in the description box below. They're only $24. They're not that much. And I get them back to you in, within 48 hours. So, let's see here. Some Palo Santo. Calling in your spirit team, your angels, your spirit guides. To get messages. Some protection here for us with this reading. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. What are we going to do? Okay, well, I'm feeling like we need to do a Celtic cross. Um, <clears throat> with the tarot, but then I've got other parts to clarify. Because I was going to do a reading with the Lenormand and the Kipper deck only. But... Yeah, I think this is probably best. Let's do it this way. So, because I feel like some order or structure is going to be needed for this reading. So, this is for the last part. Um, the last part. It well, feels like it for the rest of August. All right. Give me some messages, please, for the sign of Sagittarius. And I'm using the journey of the sacred bee to pull this reading. Okay. Two of wands in the reverse. It could be that you're regaining focus. <clears throat> Thinking of different paths you can take. Oh goodness. That's, that's, that's good. That's awesome. Look at these swords. That's good. That's great. Oh, what is what? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay. Past energy, nine of pentacle. Interesting that the past and then the future past is is your efforts are being rewarded there's more financial gain there's uh, feelings of self-reliance independence like an entrepreneur spirit could have even been an inheritance or winning or windfall for others that comes in with you know without effort but whatever it is it was kind of big here your your independence here in the past and then the future goes to the ten of pentacle okay that's so excellent the way that those are coming out <clears throat> I see changes in marriage and relationships for you all, or partnerships, maybe business partnerships. Of course, this is a general read, but <clears throat> yeah, so so I'm going to pull from the Siren Song, which is a combination of the Lenormand and the Kipper decks together, and we're going to get more information, because you have... I feel like you have a crossroads coming up. Something that you're being aligned with. A big decision. These two swords keep coming up. A big decision to make. It has to do with... Obviously, you're already working on this material completion, right? Wealth, resources, safety, security, all of that good stuff. Family, even being able to help family. I mean, things like that. But... Here in the outcome, I'm feeling, I'm definitely feeling with the Hierophant in the reverse and the Ten of Cups in the reverse that there might be a focus. On relationships and uh, emotional, not just your, also your relationship with yourself. And things changing or shifting in that department. And why? Because in the heart space, you have the five of swords which is conflicted it's conflicted and so maybe it's the heart that is feeling conflicted your challenge to this justice to this living in your truth to having the, the scales balance within all of your partnerships in your life um is the king of wands in the reverse look the, the, loud and clear i'll just be blunt loud and clear there's a uh, 
commitment or something to this extent where it's like uh, everything just didn't work out on this emotional front on where's my happiness where's my ha in this commitment something didn't work out with it it's <clears throat> I'm getting that it's still lingering it's still lingering But in the environment, you have the Three of Swords in the reverse, which is like you, the energy of releasing this. Moving on from the past, a breakup. Not pretending that something's not working. You know, if something's working, if it's not. Um, big choices, big decisions when it comes to the Seven of Pentacles as your goal and destiny and it does say patience on there it has to do with these choices i feel like uh, choices decisions investments <clears throat> and then the hope is that you you put yourself back out there that you're brave you're bold and it's okay if you get burned but confidence in your gifts confidence in your abilities very attractive attracting a lot um i want to get clarification here on what the heart is conflicted about what's the heart conflicted about here with Sag what's the heart conflicted about for Sag something to do with house stability the foundations it's in the upright There's something about letting go about what you've are what you had already invested in. I think like you're the rock, you're the pillar, you're the you're some kind of type of a massive energy or force that's holding everything up. <clears throat> How you're feeling, Ace of Swords in the reverse. With that too. Of swords, it's actually the princess of swords, but I see two swords here. I see two swords here. There is something that you feel like you need more information on, or like you're not like, like maybe the whole truth of a situation is not being revealed to you. Tell me, tell me more about, um, tell me more about the. I'm sorry, I'm gonna pull back and I'm gonna go back to this conflicted feeling. Tell me about this. Add justice to it. What is this also about? The new you. It's about the new you. Something's about the new you. What you're revealing. A secret that you were keeping. Or a secret that was being kept from you. That it is revealed. Oh, okay. So it's like getting bits and pieces of, of a secret that now have you in this conf the heart in this conflicted feeling hmm. okay so obviously something is being revealed a secret of some sort let me make sure everything's in view yeah okay okay so what does Sag need to know about what's being revealed what do they need to know about what is being revealed? What the secret is. And marriage and they have letter. This, and, and it's another three. Okay, this is um oh this this is about energies that are doing business, like maybe even behind your back having business behind your back. <clears throat> Who somebody's been doing dealings with, who somebody's been dealing with, who somebody's been uh, something like that. Because of it being on the three of swords or reverse, it's something that you're putting in the past. Okay, what about this king of wands? What is this what is this character up to as the challenge?
Okay. Hmm. Finding your truth and acceptance of the things that didn't work out. Letting go of your disappointment for what was, for what didn't work out, for what didn't um, continue to build. Letting go of the grief, letting go of the sorrow, and also letting go of clinging to the past. I don't know if that's past person or somebody that you've tried to build something with. <clears throat> you have the card here about getting together with the people that res that you resonate with more. There we go, marriage, another one. But it's coming out with the, like, I want to get to know you. I want to, like, getting together, doing things that are fun. Did you hear that? Did you hear this? Something about the talk. Talk, talk, talk of town. Talk of the town. So, give us more information on uh, what is coming to balance these scales out, as well as focus, because there's th this two of wands is, is suggesting that whatever this high level commitment used to be, or whatever you had put an end to, um, as a way to, like, knowing that you're not exactly fulfilled and you can find complete emotional fulfillment, probably like a yearning like there's something else like just having that feeling especially when it comes to commitments and who and what you're being aligned with it it feels like this was out of alignment and so therefore and so therefore <laughs> um it's showing up it's showing up right That's a lot, <laughs> but we'll take them since I did shuffle them. So we'll take them. Okay. So I have occupation, okay, which is good. It goes in line with this uh, 10 of pentacle energy. I have good news, movement, success. This can actually be travel. This is a, uh, I usually see the, like the knight of wands in my head. And so Sagittarius, this is your, is your energy, but this is good news regarding your occupation who you're dealing with, dealing with different people, and that it's been a long road to get to this point. Okay, what about our <clears throat> what about our investments, our good choices, our good decisions with the seven of pentacle here and having patience and patience. What about seven of pentacle and having patience? have woman this is an extra character it's not you for some of y'all this is a, a person dealing with a person as far as legalities go or something legal some kind of court thing somebody's coming across as like a, a false person oh false person saying they're investing in something and they weren't actually investing in something I feel like that woman is attached to some type of bad deal or something that went on. Um, like, okay, something went on like dealing with the wrong people or something like that. I'm going to get another deck. I'm feeling pulled. Yeah, you have a lot of get together, the crew, a lot of people that want to like work with you. To, that that feel aligned with you because of this wealth and prosperity and abundance energy that kind of you um, let off. <clears throat> so what are we being brave and bold in? What are we having to be brave and bold in? <laughs> literally is saying um the next journey the next phase letting go this whatever this commitment was guys it's it's coming across as like baggage okay letting go of baggage unresolved issues having to do with commitments and, and um contracts that are changing 
prepared to go baggage the next journey. That's what you need to be brave and bold about. All right. Spirit is good. Spirit is good. They will tell you, won't they? All right. All right, tell us about some good things, too. That is good, though. That is good. That's probably going to lead to something really good. As you have the Ten of Pentacles in your future. Yeah, this lady or this this extra, this issue or extra person, um, something about them coming with hassles, problems, or having some kind of big mess to clean up from the past. Um, there is a new you, though, to sort something out. Mirror, seeing clearly, facing issues, facing issues. Hmm. More advice, please. More advice. I'm going to make this kind of short. I said if you want a private reading, those are longer. This one's just kind of short. Independence. Independence, but it also says apathetic, disinterested, aloof, my way to the highway, not my problem, what I want when I want it, calm and cool, disengaged, and definitely not being held together, not a people-pleasing energy, this is coming out of people-pleasing energy, <clears throat> it's freeing yourself from restrictions, it feels like there was a situation that almost made you feel like you couldn't breathe. And it could be that you're like, you know, this is not my problem to sort out. That would be fine, too. Um, and then you have this next phase, right? Oh, wow. Something that you're building, some kind of truth that's coming to you. And again, with Libra energy, marriage and relationships also is popping up. But it can be balance, finding balance in all areas of your life. Something is definitely happening soon for you. I have a timing card come out. This false person, I wonder if it's a person going to reveal themselves to you too. What's the false person about? Let's go back to that. I didn't really clarify that. Yeah, it might be somebody that's going to, uh, happening soon that somebody will re reveal to you who they are, how they feel about you. Satisfaction, perfection, chocolate, right? Romance, treating yourself sweet, rich, do things right, elevated mood, and celebration. There's the decision to make, right? To be fair, coin toss, either or, butterfly effect. That's interesting. Either way, 50-50 chance, unpredictable, can't decide, or taking a chance. Okay, they're obviously saying, put whoa, put on your glasses <laughs> to assess your the situation. If this is a new contract coming in, that can be it too with the justice. It's, these things can be so many different messages for a general group. But eyeglasses says assessment, evaluate options, perspective, review, analyze, opinion, seeing clearly the fine print. And balloon, fun, freedom, high vibe, relief, rising up, ascension, success, attaining goals, and stress-free. And then you have the mother load on the bottom of the deck because at the root of it all, the underlying issue is you're about to hit the mother load. And there's some energies that just can't go with you or aren't going to go with you. You don't want them to go with you. You have the mother load, prosperity, jackpot, success, good fortune, having plenty, money maker, sudden wealth, the real deal, on easy street, accomplishment, advantage, and fortune, and the prime source. Oof. All right, 1010, 10, patience, patience, 22, being lined up, new partnerships, alliances, all that good stuff too, and of course, balance. Master number 44, your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future and know that you are supported. It says, I am supported, number 44. That's what I've got for you. Like, subscribe if you did like it there, Sagittarius. I'm sending you much love. Bye.